Hi everyone. Okay, so in my last vlog I talked about my first um, community psychiatric nurse appointment, CPN appointment, and how it went, and um, if I remember right it was more like an assessment really, and asking how I'd been since the original assessment. Um, since then I've had another CPN appointment um, because what they want to do is um, some self-compassion work with me um, because of my really low self-esteem and the depressed feelings I get, you know. Um, so that sounds good and she said about how she'll have a support worker, I'll have a support worker to help me with this as well and since then I've had a phone call off her to tell me about that. So I have another appointment booked with just the CPN and an appointment booked with both of them to um, start this self-compassion work. Um, I also had a psychiatrist appointment booked so I've been to that and it went really well. It was very, very thorough. She asked me lots and lots of questions, um, all the questions under the sun. And I've spoken about those things in my blog. And I'll put the link below so you know where to find it. Um, yeah, I talk about my mental health as well as on the vlog. I talk about it on my blog. Sometimes it's easier to just type these things down. Okay, so I'm digressing. Back to uh, the psychiatrist appointment. Um, okay, so I mentioned about things like obviously the anxiety and depression symptoms, the paranoia I get, the problems with like relationships and stuff. So can go from being really clingy to just suddenly cutting them out of my life for one reason or another. And yeah, how the how the bullying I had as a child sort of contributed to how I view myself, and I suppose how I view others as well, and the trust issues that I have. Um, so I spoke about that, and um, there are things like hallucinations, delusions, and I have had a time where I've hallucinated, and I didn't really realise until after, and that was quite you know, because I'd never done it before, it was quite worrying. And also, um, a time when I had a um, quite bad delusion based on some things that happened that seemed to trigger it. Um, I think I've mentioned it in my blog. If not, then maybe I'll do a separate vlog about it. But I'm going to try and keep this vlog um, quite short. So... <laughs> You know, it's less daunting him to go through it. Um, okay, so... Yeah, I talked about those symptoms. And talked about what kind of medication I was on. I'd brought my boxes, not just of mental health stuff, but the physical health stuff as well. So, yeah, I take... Lansoprazole, Colifac, Desicare, Sertraline the contraceptive pill microgynon, um, diazepam very rarely, uh, tramadol for pain and stematil which is an anti-sickness tablet. So yeah, not a tablet but they do have their benefits so yeah. Um, so I talked about that and we went on to the topic of um, diagnosis and it was a trainee psychiatrist I saw at first and I was talking to her about how I think that I might have borderline personality disorder and she was like okay why do you think you have that and um, I went through what happened when I mentioned it to my therapist which you will see in a previous vlog I'll, I'll, I've explained that in a previous vlog um, blog and um, the diagnostic criteria, how I thought I fit it, 
and stuff like that and she seemed to agree with me that it sounded like BPD but she wanted to be absolutely sure so she got the consultant psychiatrist so like the top bloke so hopefully <laughs> that would be um the be an absolute expert on this you know you should know that kind of stuff um, and he asked me similar questions you know maybe a bit more thorough but um, he concluded that yes I do have borderline personality disorder so I was right thinking I had it and it was also called emotionally unstable personality disorder which is what he said but it is the same thing so I'm pleased that I was listened to and that my concerns weren't dismissed so, um, yeah, I'm, it was a good appointment. I'm absolutely exhausted, but it was good. So, um, then we moved in, on to the topic of tablets. And um, he wants me to stay on the sertraline and the diazepam as needed because they do help a bit. But in terms of the mood swings that I have, we need to get that a bit more stable. So, the meds that he's put me on to add to the sertraline uh, um, oh dear how do I pronounce this Ariprazole um, brand name is Abilify um, now it's one I'd heard of before but yeah not very good at pronouncing it um, so he said the side effects could be that some people do get quite nauseous on it and it can increase your appetite um, so I, I was a bit nervous about that, I mean I, I don't want to gain any weight, um, if anything I want to lose a few pounds, so um, I was nervous about that but you know it's unfortunately um, oropiprazole is a antipsychotic and they're known for weight gain, so i just got to hope that I can do enough to counteract that or at least stay at the same weight we'll have to see <laughs> um main thing is that hopefully it will help stabilize my moods and that's obviously the most important thing um so obviously since then i've started on it and um because of the possibility of nausea i decided to take my anti-sickness tablet before i took the um abilify and um, that seemed to help with the nausea, you know, I've only really had mild nausea from it. But what I have been finding, and what's particular bad, particularly bad today, is that I'm very groggy. And it's it kind of feels like I'm hungover, but without the churny feeling. So, um, I wonder, anybody who's on this medication, what sort of side effects did you have and did you find that it suited you? Um, I'd be really interested to find out um, how other people, what their experiences of it are. So also in terms of the weight stuff, I thought I decided, because um, my mum's on Slimming World diet, I decided I would sign up online because I can't cope with groups. So even though they sound really supportive and stuff, it's just a room full of people. Oh, I just couldn't cope with that, I'd be too panicky and I wouldn't be able to concentrate on what was said, so it would be a waste of money for me. So the online one seems quite good. So I'm determined to stick to it and hopefully that'll help my weight a bit. Um, so know if I said but I'm gonna put the link to my blog below so you if you want to find out more about my mental health appointments or whatever then just visit that and you can have a read through okay so it's a short video for me today but um, hopefully I've updated you enough so you know what's going on so I'll say goodbye for now and um, my next vlog will probably be about the start of this self-compassion work. Okay, so I will see you soon. Bye.